my TTs, welcome back to the channel. So a big congratulations to Runic and Sierra because the other day they had a gender reveal and we found out that they are expecting a baby boy. Now, even though this was a happy moment and a lot of people were happy for them, you know there had to be some people who was hating and they was bringing up his past when he used to date Nunu. Now, before we get into these comments, if you guys do not know who Nunu is, she is one of Runic's exes and I believe that she was the first female that he ever started to record videos with they were together about two years ago they had a channel together and they used to make videos with Jalea and funny mike and now to think about it it's kind of weird how they all used to make videos together and now they're both no longer couples anymore if you guys remember that let me know how you feel about that in the comments below i just thought about that now getting into the these comments that people were leaving on the shade room teens post when they posted about runic and his new girlfriend having a baby boy a girl commented and said so happy he didn't have a baby with that other girl her attitude was horrible now this girl started up some mess because somebody then added nunu and then she commented back to the person who added her and said don't at me lol thanks but i don't give a f about her or her comment then that just led her and the person who added her to go back and forth at it it was just horrible then the girl who started this whole mess then started to talk about how her attitude used to be so horrible in the pranks she had a bad attitude before the pranks even started and it was just crazy honestly i was even surprised to see nunu in the comments because i thought even if somebody added her she just was not going to respond back but she has every right to stand up for herself people should leave the past in the past and people always do this with influencers or celebrities they're always bringing their past up and people should just stop doing that their relationship was probably over two years ago now people should let it go she has moved on he has moved on there's no reason to be bringing up their past they both look happy in their new relationships so just let it be honey just let it be but once again a big congratulations to runic and sierra on their baby boy now moving on to miss jania michelle now jania michelle was one of the hosts to a vision board party which is where girls come together and create vision boards to where they would want to be in the future now while jania michelle was giving her speech about leaving things in the past to become successful and where she wanted to be in 2021 she got very emotional now if you guys haven't seen that video you know i have it for you right here a lot of people see what you do how you do it but they don't see what you go through before you actually put your foot forward and be like this is what i'm going to do i don't want to go through this anymore so i'm about to be successful i'm about to leave this alone so i can be happy i'm about to leave this alone so i can move forward you know what i mean so seeing you guys here really showed me like there are women that want to be successful they don't want to give up. They want to. They don't want to quit. 2021. We're we're talk about it. Take it over. Take it over. It's another level. Now, I thought that was a very beautiful moment of her giving a speech, trying to motivate women, and she broke down herself, of course, thinking about things that she has been through to get to the place where she is now, and I thought it was really, really messed up that people were actually in the comments making fun of Jania Michelle, because if you guys don't remember on Thanksgiving, she also made an emotional video and uploaded it to YouTube, letting everybody know how she felt, just expressing her feelings about all the backlash and everything that she gets and she was getting emotional on that video and then you know while she was giving this speech she was getting emotional too and people was calling her a crybaby and stuff like that which is just not right she's entitled to feel how she wants to feel we only seen a glimpse of what she was going through behind closed doors 
when she was going through stuff with NBA Youngboy, when she was pregnant with Casey, and she was going through a lot of emotions. So people just need to leave her alone. She has been bashed and bullied on social media. And that's not a pleasant experience for anybody, especially somebody who has a very, very good heart, especially somebody who may be sensitive. People need to be a little more sensitive to people's feelings, which they are not on social media. And people really just need to stop the bullying on social media. It really surprises me how this generation is. Another example of people just being very insensitive was Cameron Boyce's sister. She actually came out recently and she had to make a video on her TikTok explaining that she was grieving about her brother in her own type of way because people were coming after her because they felt like she wasn't posting enough about her brother's passing like what kind of insensitive thing is that and she actually came at people in a nicer way than she could have came. in the video that she made she basically was telling everybody that she didn't want to have everybody along with the process of her grieving by posting the picture and how she felt about her brother passing away which is completely understandable now I feel like a lot of people are used to seeing other celebrities family members post on their Instagram and on their social medias all the time about their relative passing away but she's different she doesn't want everybody in her process of grieving and that's completely understandable people just need to accept that everybody is different people cannot tell her how to grieve that's something that you cannot do and that's very very insensitive even though people feel like they grew up on watching Cameron Boyce she's the only one and his family are the only people who actually know him fans didn't really know him to be honestly honest they only knew the character that he played they didn't know him on a personal level his family, his sister, she actually knew him on a personal level. She grew up with him. That's her brother. Do not tell her how to grieve because how would people feel if their brother had gone on and people were telling them how they should be grieving? how they should be posting pictures. She's not obligated to do what everybody else is doing just because everybody else has done it. You know, that's completely insensitive. And I feel like it's kind of the same thing with Jania Michelle. Don't be insensitive to people's feelings. Just because people are influencers, just because people are celebrities doesn't mean that they don't have feelings. And please, please, please do not tell them how to show their emotions. But you know what? I already know my TTs are like that. So y'all go ahead, leave a comment below about how y'all feel about these two situations in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. I know a lot of you guys thought the giveaway was going to be tonight, but it will be tomorrow on New Year's Day, I believe. I believe tomorrow, yes, is New Year's Day. So we will be having it on New Year's Day. So make sure you guys stay in tune for that. Once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.